Good evening, friends. Friendly out of nobody here. Today, I'm gonna teach you how to make a Manhattan. It's kind of like a like a whiskey martini. Of course, I like martinis, but you know how I like my whiskey. So today, we're gonna have the best of both worlds by making our classic Manhattan with, you guessed it, our classic 10 high. We don't have the ingredients right now, so we're gonna have to take a little adventure, but I'd like you to join me. And of course, before any good adventure, I'd like you to join me in a shot. Cheers, friends. To make a Manhattan, basic ingredients are, of course, 10 high. Uh, a little bit of red vermouth. Uh, and then, of course, a garnish of cherry. And then a, a dash of some uh, ang 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 angostanga, angostanga bitters. So we're going to go get a couple of those things. Go back and uh, have ourselves a nice little holiday drink. I hope. Watch out, man! Jeez! Here we are at my favorite place in the world, World Beverage Liquor. Kids have Toys R Us, we have World Beverage. Come on, let's go. All right, so we're just making a couple drinks today. So uh, probably should go light on the whiskey, so probably just one. I think three seven seven fifty should do it. And just like the martinis, cheapest vermouth you can find. That looks good to me. And now for the bitters. Let's see. Lemon bitters, orange bitters, Angasutra bitters. There you go. Forty what percent alcohol? This is gonna be a good drink. Well, I ain't no historian, but from my readings, the Manhattan cocktail was invented in around 1860, and of course Manhattan by a bartender named Black, and uh, and it was one of five different cocktails, um, and the, and they were all based around cities in New York, um, but the most famous is the Manhattan. And they used primarily Canadian whiskey back in those days because that was all that's available. However, today, we're gonna kick it up a notch and use Tanahai. Jesus, oh my God! <laughs> Looks like we made it back in one piece. I don't know about you guys, but I'm a little thirsty. What do you say we uh, mix a little cocktail? But first, of course, let's take a shot of our 10 high. So I guess I should be upfront about this. I've never made one of these, but I'm sure it'll be fine. So, you're going to want to get your utensils, you're going to need a shot glass, you're going to need a drinking glass, and you're going to need a mixing glass, filled to the brim with ice, and of course, a cocktail spoon, or if you don't have one, a, a soup spoon would work. So now let's start mixing, shall we? Very first ingredient, of course, is our 10 high. It calls for two ounces of 10 high. The shot glass is 1.5 ounces, so, um, and this is a big shot glass, so it's more than 1.5 ounces, so, 
I have no idea how much whiskey I'm putting in here. Now you're gonna want just a dash of bitters. No, sorry. You're gonna want almost a shot of vermouth. Um, it says about three fourths of an ounce. So, um, three fourths of an ounce. I think that's three fourths of an ounce. What about you folks? Yeah. Seems fine to me. Okay. Now, last but not least, just a single dash, single dash of our Angostanga bitters that's raging at a whopping 44.7% alcohol for bitters. Not half bad. Just a little dash of bitters in there, maybe a little more because because it does smell good, I gotta admit. So, I think that's it. Now we're going to stir. Good martinis and Manhattans are always stirred and not shaken. So if you ever order one at a bar, make sure you don't order it shaken. Stirred. It's just a little more elegant. I think it's all nice and stirred now. So now, you're gonna to wanna to use your, your spoon as a strainer. You wanna strain the ice out because classic Manhattans are served neat or bruised, so cold but without ice. So you wanna use a spoon as a little strainer and just fill that glass up with a nice little little Manhattan up, perfect. All right. Cheers. And that's how you make a Manhattan, my friends. Happy holidays, and we hope to see you very soon.